Music has always been a part of Shunzo Ono's life. It was how he defined himself. It was how he expressed himself. So when the doctors told him that he might never play the trumpet again, he said, without music, life is not worth living. Shunzo Ono grew up in Japan in the city of Gifu. His parents owned a restaurant, and when he was only nine years old, he would ride his bicycle all across the city, delivering lunch boxes to workers. His family never had enough money for luxuries, so music lessons were never part of Shunzo's musical training. When I was 13, I watched a movie called Trumpet Boy. This movie had a very strong impact on me and I could relate to the story. So then um, I asked my dad, can you get the trumpet for me? And he said, no. <laughs> we don't have that kind of money to buy the trumpet. Shunzo started playing trumpet in high school when there was an opening in the school band. By the time he graduated, music was all he thought about. Shunzo's training would come from jam sessions and playing gigs in nightclubs, but he also spent his time in jazz coffee shops. People order just one coffee and they're listening an hour and hour just listening to jazz. It was very serious, you know. <laughs> and then one day in 1973, Art Blakey came to Japan. They called me, Shunzo, can you make this gig? Wow, sound great, you know. So I went there. And then I went after finished play, then I like I said, why don't you come to New York? My thought became a reality. Somehow, my uh, luck just ran out or something. I couldn't pay the rent, and I ended up homeless. Shunzo found work as a busboy, and on his breaks, he would sneak down to the basement, which had been used as a bomb shelter. He would practice his trumpet for hours, and his hard work and patience paid off. Shunzo started touring again, released numerous albums, and performed on two Grammy Award-winning recordings. His career was now heading in the right direction. I hit my left side of my face to the window just, that's the moment, that's the only I remember. I completely lost of a feeling of the trumpet on my lips. Everything was different. And this doctor told me, I don't think you're able to play trumpet anymore. And I immediately rejected this notion. I knew I needed to develop a new way to play my instrument. To someone else, this might be the moment of defeat. But for Shunzo, it was a defining process. By transforming his weakness, he had strengthened himself and his music. Oh. Once again, I'm staring for Shunzo Ono. On the trumpet, Shunzo Ono. Thank you. 
Shunzo was invited to perform at the legendary Carnegie Hall with his friends and mentors, including Wayne Shorter, Herbie Hancock, Larry Coriel, and myself. Shunzo would defy the advice of his doctors and leave the hospital to perform Musashi, a song about never giving up that he wrote after his car accident. Even if my cancer is cured, but if I'm not able to play the trumpet, for me, it's not worth it to live. This performance was my declaration that I would win this battle. Shunzo composed Musashi at a time in his life when he was searching for a particular sense of courage. The song is inspired by the historic samurai Musashi, whose extraordinary talents included writing and painting, a conscious effort for seeking profound meaning. The reality of life includes difficult challenges. My struggles were critical to helping me understand the joy of living. I want to manifest the Musashi in all of us. <laughs> <laughs> 